the cat says we shall do the mirror combos today. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> Welcome to MDJ3. We have an amazing show for you. This show is for that Demir player who's looking for that extra sauce, the extra spice. Yes, you heard what the cat wants. The cat wants Demir combos. And we abide by the cat. These three combos on this list are effectively cheap. You can get them at your local game store or you can find these cards at cardkingdom.com for good, great, cheap prices. If you don't believe me, go check it out yourself. This is an amazing combo list of combos, right? The first combo is sadistic. The second combo, annoyingly extra turns. And the third combo, his insta kill. Let's get to these combos right now. Hit that like button, dudes and dudettes. The number one combo on this list is an evil tantalizing combo. It is two pieces that really hone in on the dark side of Demir, the evil side of Demir. Yes, the first combo is so ruthless. It will make your opponents hate you. <laughs> uh, these combos scare even the tortoise. The first combo on this list is an amazing combo. It is an awesome combo. And what is this combo? It is Notion Thief and Teferi's Puzzle Box. This combo reeks. Notion Thief costs two generic. A blue and a black is a creature human rogue that has a power toughness 3-1, has flash, says if an opponent would draw a card except the first one they draw on each of their draw steps instead that player skips a draw and you draw the card instead the fairy's puzzle box costs four colorless or generic mana it is an artifact it says at the beginning of each player's draw step that player puts the cards from their hand on the bottom of their library in any order then draws that many cards this evil combo of demir not only cycles you more cards in your hand, but makes you draw rich into your opponent's cards. Because they discard seven cards, you draw their seven cards. If you do that in Commander, that's three extra sets of cards you're drawing. That is 21 cards of seven if you get the optimal rate there. This Notion Thief combo is evil. <laughs> I mean, sneaky and sly. If you, if you want to lose friends, play this combo. This combo is definitely not friendly. Woo! After that, I need a coffee break. Wow. Delicious. And with that, let's go to combo number two. Boom. Subscribe to show people we are having a party. The number two combo is an extra turns combo that's been around for ages, for a decade at least. I mean, this comes from the shards of Allura block, like parts of it's from Conflicts and parts of it's from Mirrodin, like like scars of mirrored in age you know this combo is epic if you want to take extra terms this combo is for you this combo is amazing and i want to i want to exuberate how awesome this combo is what is this combo you ask well this combo is thopter assembly and time seeds thopter assembly costs six generic mana is an artifact creature thopter five five it has flying at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control no Thopters other than Thopter Assembly, return Thopter Assembly to its owner's hand and create five 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter Artifact creature tokens with flying. Time Sieve costs a blue and a black and is an artifact. You can tap Time Sieve, sacrifice five artifacts, and take an extra turn after this one. This combo is very self-aware. Like, all you really need is these two pieces. You get the Thopter, you wait till you get five artifacts, and you sacrifice them out. 
This combo is easy to pull off in any Demir style, Esper style, uh, artifact based commander deck because your lands could be artifacts, you can have little lotus petals, you can have all these little mana rocks and stuff. You can take extra turns very fast just with time sieve alone. But Thopter Assembly guarantees you the artifacts you need to keep taking extra turns. This combo is amazing. This combo is delicious. This combo is epic. Very epic. Like, I love this extra turns combo. It's one of my favorite extra turn combos to have because it's very reliant on two pieces. It is awesome and old school. Wow, I just realized I'm wearing a, a very Golgori colored shirt. I wonder what the next combo list is gonna be. Well, either way, let's get to combo number three. Boom. Thank you for being here today. You make my channel amazing. The number three combo on this list is sadistic. It is instantaneous. As soon as you go off with this combo, it's going to destroy and wreck lives, right? This is a three-piece combo that works with three different cards, but once you have the win, your win is instantaneous. Like, it is done, boom, bam, you win the game. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, this combo is awesome. It's my number one combo because it's the most flavorful, fun combo that requires extra pieces on this list. That's why it's number one. Like, it actually takes skill to get these cards together. It takes time to get these cards together. But once you got it, you got them all together with tutors, drawing cards, and ramping into what you need. This combo is spicy. This combo is evil. This combo is insta-kill. This combo is Eloise Nefalia Sleuth, March of the Machines, and Disciple of the Vault. Eloise Nefalia Sleuth costs three generic blue to black as a 4-4 legendary creature, human rogue. He can be your commander. Whenever another creature you control dies, investigate. Create a clue token. It's an artifact with pay to sacrifice of this artifact, draw a card. Whenever you sacrifice a token, surveil one. March of the Machines costs three generic and a blue. It is an enchantment. It says each non-creature artifact is an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its mana value or mana cost. Ooh, you can see where this is going. Quick break in this combo before I get to the Disciple of the Vault. You have Eloise and Nefalia Sleuth out in the battlefield, right? He creates treasure tokens when a creature dies. March of the Machines turns those tokens into 0-0 zero, zero creatures. So as soon as they populate into play, they vanish, they hit the graveyard, they die, like instantaneously. And following the trigger soups, it recycles, repeats, you keep getting a creature, creature dies, creature comes back into play, creature dies, creature comes back into play, creature dies, right? That is like the key piece to this combo, but the winning third card to this combo is Disciple of Vault, cost a black. It is a 1-1 one, one creature, human cleric. Whenever an artifact is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you may have target opponent lose one life. Boom! Right there! Right there! Disciple of the Vault is the key piece to getting your opponents to lose one life for each artifact that goes to the graveyard. With this combo, all those artifacts that pop into play, rinse and repeat, pop in the plague, die, rot, rinse and repeat, you can see it's going. Every time one of those tokens die, your opponents are losing a life. Yes, you knock out your opponents all in one combo. This is not a salty combo because it finishes the game right away. This combo is nuts, awesome, and your opponents won't see it coming. Just like the sleuth, the spy, the Demir infiltrator that you are. <laughs> yes, this is an awesome number three combo. And with that, and with that, we go to the end step. The end step. Boom. You listening? Damn. Go, 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 go. To answer last week's question, what is something Watsy has done or is going to do that makes you happy? Well, we have... Tabalta Purchase says, I love the question. I want to be a grumpy old man and hate everything Watsy is doing. But I am secretly hyped for the Western set that's coming out. Psh, but don't tell anybody. Laugh, laugh, just joking. I am hyped about that set. Woo-wee, ride him, cowboy! 
We got a set that's got you excited to bolt. That's amazing. I mean, I'm excited for Ixalan. I'm excited for Ravnica. I'm excited for a lot of things. <laughs> but thank you, DePaul, for answering that question. And for the question of today. The question for today is what is an amazing Demir combo you love? Put your answers in the comment section below. Yes. Super fast tortoise, the morning coffee has a play mat of awesomeness. Yes, check this play mat out. Look at the cool design, the deep graphics, the cool text and everything. Scan that, you go to my YouTube page. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Keep an eye out, keep posted. Yes, we're trying to get this thing off the ground so we can make more of these play mats and have a super special giveaway for you. Yes, our goal in the future is to give away a playmat, a commander deck with sleeves, custom sleeves, just for you. It'll be a Rafika the Mini deck. And we will be here. We will go far. We will get goals done. So, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button on the video. Please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to toggle that bell. You are amazing. And until next time, my friends, play wise. I totally want to thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate it 100%. Like this video as if it's your favorite kind of pizza, dude. And if you wouldn't mind, consider smashing that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications. Every one of these things you do helps the channel out a lot. You got this, I can't scratch. I'm pissing a piece that could be the whole part of me and open wounds start to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled around, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go 